Hello, welcome to more Political Excess. Today, let's take a look at which states and counties have been the best indicators at predicting the winner of the presidential elections. So first up, let's go to Ballotpedia and take a look at the states and see which is the best bellwether. So as we can see, since 1900, Ohio is the best bellwether. And Ohio actually had a streak from 1964 that was broken last cycle in 2020. But there are nine states in total that have an 80% accuracy since 1900. Now, that's a lot of elections to be right four out of five times. And there are some surprising states in there by modern standards, such as Illinois, Missouri, California, Delaware, and New Jersey. But that just goes to show that over a long period of time, states change their political identities, and sometimes they last a long time, sometimes they don't. And it is hard to predict which way things will go. You never know when a streak is going to be broken. But if we look at the elections since 2000, those six presidential elections, there are five states that have gotten five out of six correct. And in addition to Ohio, there is also Colorado, Florida, Nevada, and Virginia. Now, of those five states, I would think that Nevada is probably the most likely to maintain its bellwether status, as the other four states might be settling into a medium or longer term identity that is either blue or red. And there's plenty of other stats here on Ballotpedia, or if you move over to Wikipedia, they'll tell you about different streaks over different periods of time and different kinds of accuracy for various states. So I recommend glancing over some of that if you haven't already done so. But if we move over and look at which counties have been the biggest bellwethers, Wikipedia has a table here that sums it all up. And in summary, since 1980 up to last cycle in 2020, there were 19 counties in the U.S., that voted with the winner of the presidential election every time. However, in 2020, 18 of those 19 counties voted for Donald Trump and thus had their streaks broken. And only one of them still has the active streak. And the spoiler here is that is Clallam County, Washington, that still has the active streak. So you can read all about Clallam County here. You can look at their presidential results. And it does track with the winner of the presidential election. So it is interesting to see 18 of those counties have their streaks snapped last time. So I can see it being quite disheartening for Donald Trump to win 18 of the bellwethers and still lose the general election. But nonetheless, that is what happens with all streaks. At some point, they do come to an end, sometimes sooner than later. And sometimes it does take two or three cycles for a county to completely shift into a new identity. Some of these might be one-offs. We'll have to see what happens. But these counties that did have their streaks snapped, I mean, they're all over. New York, New Mexico, Virginia, Michigan, they're scattered all over. It's not concentrated in one area. But I will put up this page from 538 last year that discusses these bellwether counties and why 18 of 19 of them did have those streaks snapped. The article focuses more on race and education as the primary factors. So take that for what you will. Maybe you agree with it, maybe you don't. I find it fascinating, as I always do like streaks and odd stats. So it'll be a couple more years before we see which of these counties and which states will continue their streaks and which streaks will be snapped. So if you enjoy this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Hit the bell for notifications, follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.